Welcome back to Rebuild Roulette, the series where I sold my entire bank to start from scratch, locking myself to one type of activity for 12 in-game hours at a time, all dictated by the roulette wheel. How long will it take us to hit the 1 billion GP mark? Let's find out. 15 mil is what we ended the last episode on. 15 mil from 12 hours of straight bossing from scratch isn't that bad, honestly. But let's see what the wheel has got in store for us today. I'm hoping we get something different other than bossing. So let's spin the wheel. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? One item? No? Oh, it just ticks over into skilling. Okay, 12 hours of skilling. We are at 119 days of game time and one hour. So 12 hours from now, when that hits 13 hours, the time is up. First thing I'm gonna do is invest in some Ranar seeds because farm runs are big money. Actually, the whole old school RuneScape economy is on some crazy upward trajectory at the moment. So we're gonna try and take advantage of that. The first Ranar seed of many planted and I also topped up my bottomless bucket. We have 271 uses of Ultra Compass, which should be more than enough. I don't see myself doing that many farm runs. Listen, I just hope I can keep on top of it somewhat. While I'm doing this farm run, I think it would be good to catch you guys up on what I've been doing on this account and what I'll be doing on this account in between the 12 hour stints. So it's absolutely no secret that this account is not even close to maxing. And I'm gonna use the time between each 12 hour stint to progress the account through skilling, through diaries, whatever it'll be. But ultimately the money will be the same. We will start each 12 hour stint with the same amount of money as we finished the last one. And in between the 12 hours of bossing to now, I did the Falador hard diary so that we could finally see the mole if that was ever a thing we needed to do. And that kind of spiraled into doing a lot more achievement diaries, the wilderness easy, medium and hard diary even, and then the Lumbridge hard diary. Also that for future 12 hour locks, we would have access to more methods, more utility. And yeah, the diary pages aren't looking too pathetic now. You know, if you just don't look at Fremi and Kandarin anyway. Hey, the first farm run done of hopefully many. I'll save all of the herbs we get until the very end so you can see just how much we make from farming around our seeds. Listen, I know we're skilling and I know this is gonna look kind of weird for skilling, all of this, but trust me, I have a plan. This is by far my favorite money-making method for skilling at the moment, and that is the Wilderness Agility course. So I just have to pay the 150k and I can start doing some laps. I should really set up my ice brush so I don't get caught. Hello? No. No, I'm on Lunas. I'm on Lunas. No. Oh, that's 150k I'm never going to get back. And and I fell. Cool. All right, second time lucky. Here we go. Pay the 150k. Now we can start doing some laps. For those of you who might not know how this works, for every lap you do in the Wildy Agility course, you tag the dispenser and you get given some loot. You do need to pay 150k to enable the loot and you will lose that 150k as demonstrated if you leave the course in any way, like dying or just leaving yourself. Here we go, first lap and we get five blighted anglerfish and one rune medhelm, so not bad. The loot you get is a mix of blighted supplies, like the stuff I've got in my inventory now, but also alkables as well. And the loot you get here increases the longer your lap streak. We are currently in the first zone, so that really doesn't make much money. And we wanna get to the bone zone. Of course, we are in the wilderness though, so uh, <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts before I get interrupted. Oh. I mean, he's got an elemental shield, so I've got faith that this guy has no idea what he's doing. Here he comes. Dumps another spec. Dumps another spec, surely not another spec. <laughs> All of his specs in one, oh my god. Oh, that's a big bolt, 32. We've got him on the ropes, boys. If I can freeze this guy, I think we can work him a little bit. Here we go, another hit. Try the old DDS. He's not switching prayer. He's not switching prayer. He's eating. He's definitely trying to chase down bots. He's running. He's running. Get back here. We can actually kill this guy. Don't tell me. Don't tell me he logs. Don't tell me he logs. 
He logs. He logs. There was only 51k in the looting bag. Guys. Oh my God. I am down bad. And I don't want to go back to the core straight away because I've got a log soon and I don't want to lose my lap streak. So we're going to do something else. Something that makes a quick buck. I knew that wilderness diary would come in handy because with the wilderness sword, we can teleport to the fountain of rune and I have all of these opal dragon bolts to enchant. I spent about 4.5 mil on just over 5k of them. So let's go see. Is anyone going to be there? Coast is clear. Coast is clear. So if we stand within the proximity of the Fountain of Rune, we've got unlimited runes. We can cast any spell we want and we want to enchant these bolts. This is like the max range of the fountain and we can one tick them here really quick like this. Honestly, this is going to take no time at all. Don't try this if you're not willing to lose everything because this is level 48 wilderness. There is no way out of here other than to log out faster than whoever logs in to kill you. So do this at your own risk. 10 minutes, 5,000 bolts enchanted. I think this is going to be good money. Okay, 5 mil for all of those bolts, which took me 10 minutes to enchant. And that's about 500k profit. Never mind, let's call it 250k profit after the two absolute fumbles at the agility course. We've got some unfinished business with that place. Okay, we will not leave. We will not chase PKers. We are on the right spell book. Okay, good pep talk. Let's earn some money. This is our 16th lap, so we are now in the second threshold, earning about 20k per lap now. For the record, we are one hour in, and so far, so good. Oh, there's the alarm. I spoke too soon. I'm just sitting here because PKs can't actually get you unless they come through the agility course this way. And I'd rather avoid logging out because if you log out, you also lose 10 from your lap streak, which would just put us back to the start. Quick sit rep on the loot and bag, 300k, 26 laps in right now. Feeling good, looking good, making money. We got caught, we got caught boys, but we are near the ladder. He's specking. He's still specking. What is it with people and dumping all their melee specs in one go? I think we can work him at the ladder here. Don't actually know if I got the freeze off. I didn't. Okay. It's okay. This is okay. Being right here, this is the best place we could be in. It's just a matter of time. He's gone up. Oh, he got me. Okay. Easy, easy, easy. I think that's it. Okay. Uh, we used a lot of supplies there. I'm down to just one anglerfish right now, so really hoping that every time we tag this, we're going to get another anglerfish. Pause. Okay, nice. Okay. We are coming up to 50 laps, and the sit rep on the looting bag is just shy of one mil. That's not bad. Oh, there's some player versus player action here. Oh, he's tagged him. Tagged him on the slope. Nice. I think we're going to have to watch this guy, see what's going on. Oh. Oh, he's left it way too long to come back up. No. No. Oh, he's been hit. What's the play? What's the play? Oh, the juke. I absolutely think he's done him. I know how that feels, buddy. He's got you. He's absolutely done you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are officially in the bone zone, which means we should be getting about 40k worth of loot per lap. Oh yeah, the other cool thing about this agility course that I don't think I've mentioned are the wilderness agility tickets. And you get one every lap with your loot. If you can stack them up, you get even more bonus experience with them. And the highest bonus experience threshold is to have 101 agility tickets, which we now have. And I think that's an extra 15% bonus agility XP when we eventually hand these in. I don't know how long we're going to go for, but things are looking pretty good right now. There's the 100 lap streak. The XP here is actually decent. I know the tracker here says about 40k XP an hour, but once we hand these tokens in, that'll be almost 60k XP an hour, I'm sure. Oh yeah, and the looting bag is at 3 mil. I really think the Wilderness Agility course is a social experiment. 
And hear me out, okay? Because it tests how greedy people are. I know I should leave right now. I know I should. I've got almost a four mil looting bag and I have the most raggedy excuse for an anti-PK gear setup. Mystics, a rune crossbow and a dragon dagger is not stopping anyone in near max gear. I know I should leave, but I can't. All right, this is it. We are leaving after this lap. The looting bag is up to 4.5 mil. So at the end of this lap, we are cashing out. All right, let's redeem our tokens. 36k bonus agility XP. That's huge. And we are safe. All right, here's what's in the looting bag. There's a bone, but everything else is looking pretty good. Just shy of 4.5 mil. Now for this next method, I'm gonna want a dragon pickaxe maybe. It might be an unnecessary purchase. As tempting as it is to do 12 hours of straight wieldy agility and make a ton of money, I want to try something different. This guy's wearing organs for a hat. I guess that's why he's called Haggis. That makes sense. Okay, so this is the Scar Essence Mine. I personally have never done this before, but it's unlocked, I think, during Desert Treasure 2. You mine this uh, amalgamation and you get a tainted essence. Then we deposit the tainted essence into this ventriloquy over here. Apparently, this hole in the floor is a coffer. So we're just, <laughs> I guess I'm just going to be chucking money down here. Let's do a mill to start and we'll see what that gets us. Then we come over here and we can convert the money and the tainted essence into twisted extract. It looks like we're only getting 166. I am going to need a lot more than this. Okay, we have 500 twisted extract. That costs me 3 million GP. We're making some fire runs. Here we go. I've never done this before. The crux of it is that for every one twisted extract here we get an extra 60 runes 2500 some fire runes 2500 so we make 5k per infant and that is 575k absolutely no efficiency is being taken into account here i'm just running between the Valamore west bank and the nearest shrine the trips are only like a minute and it's a super simple method it's just that the input cost is pretty high goated old school runescape sound effect right here oh yeah Oh yeah, baby. Okay, the twisted extract didn't even last 10 minutes, so I think we're going to have to try and do this on a larger scale, but here's what we've got so far. 3.5 mils worth. 2,666 extract for 16 mil. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, let's do this properly. Quick check on the time. Five hours in. No idea if we're making profit or not right now. But hey, it's RuneCraft in XP. It only took about half an hour, but here we go. 164k Sunfire runes is 20 mil. Now, I only spent 16 mil on Twisted Extract, 700k on Sunfire Splinters, and just under 10k on Fire runes. So assuming we can actually get 20 mil for all of these Sunfire runes, I'm a little bit skeptical on that. That would be about a 3.5 mil profit in just under an hour. I think I'm going to have to slow sell these and come back to it. So let's move on to something else. Uh, I just need 30k more Thieving XP to do this next method. And this is the best XP I can think of. So this poor lad's going to get an absolute headache. And there it is. 82 Thieving. Absolutely no secret what we're going to try and do now. Apparently this is the gaff everyone does this in. So we've got dodgy necklaces, jugs of wine, and we're pickpocketing Valesa Von Pitt. Now, I am only 82 thieving and Vias are unlocked to 82, so these rates are going to be dreadful. But I think it's worth doing on the off chance that we spoon a blood shard. Anyone who plays the game regularly, I'm sure has noticed how crazy the old school RuneScape economy has just gone lately. Prices are just skyrocketing. And this place is absolutely no exception. Blood shards are going at the time of recording this video for about 14 mil. And we've got the rogues outfit on, so if we do manage to pickpocket one, we'll actually get two, which is hopefully the easiest 28 mil we'll ever make. But back to the economy, a lot of people are saying that it's going crazy because Jagex are cracking down on bots. And I don't really know how true that is. If it is actually true, then that's amazing. It's a healthier game for everybody. Everything is a lot more expensive, but it's a healthier game. And you know what else is healthy, guys? liking this video and subscribing because they say the best things in life come for free and that is totally free.
Okay, I may have overestimated this one big time. The blood shard is a one in 5,000. And at this rate, I'm only going to manage about 350 successful pickpockets an hour. So I mean, just a little bit of maths there. And this is going to take us a really long time to even hit the drop rate of the shard. All right, we are seven hours into this 12 hour stint right now. And we have done about an hour of pickpocketing buyers. 376 successful pickpockets this hour for 132k. <laughs> oh, there it is. I finally decided to come and get the large pouch. That is going to be very nice for this next method. I am fully aware I'm jumping around different methods a lot here. It's been a long time since I've really done any skilling to make money, so I just want to try a few different things. And right now, we're going to craft death runes through the abyss because the wiki states this is somewhere in the region of 1.5 to 2 mil an hour right now and i i am struggling to believe that so we're gonna put it to the test we get teleported by this guy we go in the death rift craft all of these runes and then teleport back to edgeville rinse and repeat all right it's been about 50 minutes we have only 540k in death runes oh look at that though the sunfire runes have almost finished selling so 540k from those death runes the wiki definitely assumes 99 rune crafting which is a bit of a shame on the bright side 60k sunfire runes sold at 119 each and the rest of them at 117 each a little less profit than we were originally expecting but i think that's still really good farm run reminder we are back in the wilderness and as you can tell from my inventory we are going back to the wildy agility course except it's gonna be slightly different this time <laughs> there are a lot of people here oh my god it's absolutely heaving so i wish i'd known about this to start but if you join the friends chat agility fc it's like a mass world dedicated to run in this agility course. The FC actually has PKers who just rag other PKers who aren't in the group, meaning that it makes this whole activity just a lot safer. Not only that, but there's a lot of other targets here. And if I was PKing here right now, I would just look to peel off some of the people here that are running in minimal gear who may have been here for hours. We are in the 31 lap zone, so just 30 more laps for the bone zone. This is so much better than doing it solo. I am not getting interrupted at all, so this is perfect. Yo, we just got 79 agility. I actually can't believe I've got a whole agility level here. Agility is that skill where I would happily put any XP lamp into it, but I would rather dangle my nuts above I don't know, a snapping turtle. I would rather dangle my nut above a snapping turtle's head than run laps to actually level it up. And that's not even a hot take. And with this tag, we are back in the bone zone, ladies and gents. We are running out of time. I have two hours left. I need to pick the pace up on this course. And that is 100 laps, guys. Things are really starting to heat up here, though. Look at all those skulls. I'm not going to lie, it's starting to make me feel a little bit nervous because my looting bag is filling up. 2.6 mil in there right now, yeah. We have just one hour to go, 3.6 mil in the looting bag right now. Time is about to run out and it's a good job as well because, let me tell you, paranoia is kicking in right now. Every person I see sculled, I think is out to clobber me in for the easiest five mil of their life all right there we go we have 158 tokens and the looting bag is up to 4.6 mil let's redeem the tokens another 36k xp honestly halfway to 80 agility that's not too bad at all just thought i'd check out the agility xp and honestly it's so much higher when you're uninterrupted like that so mass world is definitely the way forward i think there's a nice looking ge window right there this is it, the final farm run. I have been pretty good at doing these, so I really hope it's paid off. Time is up. We have managed to get together 25 mil. Let's see just how much. 25 and a half, which isn't too bad. I've also been pretty good on the farm runs. We have 575 Ranar weeds. And according to the price checker, that is an extra 4 mil. So 29.3 mil is our finishing cash stack. I'm honestly kind of impressed with skilling. 
you know, considering we started with 15 mil, that averages out somewhere just over 1 mil an hour. Considering we've jumped activities a lot and had a bit of downtime here and there, that's really decent. Looking at the stats, I'm just happy we got an agility level and some runecraft and xp because they're both stats i want to progress overall we've got a lot of work to do with these because they really do limit what methods we have available to us if you guys have any suggestions for activities you'd like to see put in the roulette wheel for the next time then please comment them down below i would definitely be open to picking some suggestions that look good and including them for next time. I'm really excited for the next one. Taking forward 29 mil should really accelerate the amount of cash we can make. So until then, I will catch you all in the next one.